Hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm a big guy who's trying to make some positive changes for his life, little by little, step by step, changing the way that I live so that I can have a healthier body, a healthier life, and a happier life. And so this week I wanted to talk about routine being important. Uh, I had a bad week this week and I just want to come straight out and tell you guys that I failed this week in several different categories. I uh, didn't record my calories three different days. I didn't do my exercises three different days. And uh, laziness is the main culprit, but there's other factors as well. One of the factors was I was dizzy, and so I stayed home from work because I was dizzy. Uh, it's not safe for me to go in and work my job while I'm experiencing the dizzy spells that I experienced. And uh, being at home, my routine went out the window. My routine just went out the window, and I uh, did not do the things at the same time of day that I normally do them. And so things at, besides that, I was saying I wanted to not push myself so that I could recover quickly from my dizziness and get back to work, which I was able to do. I'm very thankful for that. I only missed about 10 hours worth of work, two hours one day and eight hours the next day. And then I was able to go back to work. So I'm glad for that. Um, so maybe it wasn't all bad, but I do feel bad about failing on several of my obligations this week, or rather my life change goals this week. And uh, But we're going to push forward. We're going to get back on the horse. I feel like I'm saying that every week now. I feel bad, uh, I, I, but the struggle is real and the uh, overcoming it is something that is a daily challenge and a weekly challenge and not something that I just get over at some point and then uh, it's all good from there. So I got to remember that I got to keep fighting every day, put my head down, make the right decisions. It's all about making the right decisions, right? So I was able to recover from my dizziness and get back to work. And then Saturday, something that was very fun is that my parents had purchased for me a lesson in wood turning, uh, bowl turning. And so I was able to make this. I'm very excited about this. Now, as you can see, it still has the thing on the back, I think it's called the tannin. I forget exactly what it's called. I need to find a way to get this off. I'm thinking about trying to saw it off and then just sand it flat. Um, but we didn't have time in the class. The class was a little bit shorter than it used to be. And so we didn't have time to finish it, but it's almost finished. And I think it's beautiful. Let me just see if I can show you guys. The wood grain is really pretty. The lights are kind of kind of messing around with it but I like it I think it's really cool and I had a lot of fun making it so there was some definitely positive things that happened this week that I'm very excited about and next week the goal or for this coming week rather is to um, add five more push-ups slash bicep curls to my routine I do 25 currently it's been a while since I added any I already reached my 30 minutes of uh, cardio which is my maximum goal so i'm not planning on increasing the cardio anymore so i have to find other things to increase in my physical activities and this week we're going to be choosing the push-ups so i'm going from 25 to 30 the goal is to get up to 50 and we're past the halfway point now so i'm excited about that so far i'm able to do 15 without stopping pretty regularly and, uh, and then five and five, or maybe even like six and four after that, I get kind of gassed after those first 15 and I have to recover a little bit before I can do any more. But eventually I'm gonna get to the point where I can do them all in one sitting. That's the ultimate goal. I wanna be able to do 50 push-ups without stopping, just bang them out, bam, bam, bam. And the, the faster I'm able to do them, the faster I'm going to be able to increase to the next number and uh, go from there. I had a buddy at work who said, don't wait until you can do all 25 before you increase to 30. Go ahead and increase to 30 and you'll find yourself doing 20 in a row instead of 15. So I'm gonna do it like that. Go ahead and increase even though I'm not able to do all 25 in one sitting. Rather, you know, all without stopping. I'm still able to doing it in one sitting. But, uh, but yeah, I'm hoping that five more push-ups won't take too much more time. Hopefully it'll just be another minute or so 
in my push-ups routine and my bicep curls i'm able to do all 25 i'm doing uh, curls with 25 pound dumbbells and i'm able to do all 25 uh in a row so i'm hoping i'm going to be able to do all 30 in a row we'll have to wait and see how it goes tomorrow tomorrow's push-ups and the next day it's bicep curls so i'm doing good uh with that i'm enjoying that i'm feeling like i'm building muscle mass and uh, the more muscle i build the more calories i'm going to burn at rest which is going to help me to lose weight more so that's how things went this week and that's the goal for next week and until next time I hope that you all have a wonderful week and that you find success in all the things that you are pushing for in your lives. We'll see you next week.